There we go. Um, it's a match against the gold to Benji on high view. Um, we'll kind of see how this game goes. Okay, let's see what we got. So it's against the HRE on high view. So HRE. I think we want to go. Probably best to go a few close to our stone. Okay, um... I'm trying to get close to like stealth force, I'd like to drop my vision. That might have been that might not have been the best place, but I had a pretty good clearing uh pretty much everywhere that's um, that there isn't stealth force, it's usually the best spots to get um Sheep. So let's come up here. His cats up there. Okay, now the sake is right. Oh, that's a good wood line in the corner. This is kind of a clearing here, we might be able to find something here. Okay, we're going to scout again. Let's drop this vision. Okay, let's move the sheep. So let's drop this off and then let's uh Come here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's work over to here. I think like that would be a pretty good spread. Oh, 
We got 12 on food. Um, we're gonna transition into um, probably like oh, seven so. on wood. It's a pretty good number. Seven, eight on wood is good. I mean, pretty much every two turns means we're getting in a getting a building. Okay, so we're a little bit late on our age up time. We're at 4.30, we're not aging up yet. Okay, that's a lot of sheep right there. Six, so I think um, we collected all the sheep that there was to collect. I have no sheep. I thought I had a, I thought I had a couple of sheep. I must not have had any sheep. Okay, well, that's fine. Here, I'm going to take three of you. Come over here. It's HRE, so he's probably going for the knights and stuff. I do want to drop one, I really tempted to drop one stable. Just so we can see what's happening. Now that we're on 8, we're going to go full, fully commit to um, um, food production. I'm gonna drop one scout. Because we're gonna be scouting here. He's going horse now. He was going. Okay. So. Being said, let's go over here. Scout that out. I'm gonna send you. Let's get a horseman upgrade. We'll send you there. I'm gonna send you guys over here as well. Double archery range. Okay, so here's some new. Let's drop a tower here. There's some guys.
Let's go over here. We might catch something over there. Let's drop the tower here. We can catch the cutoff here, which is pretty nice. Decent raid. Let's go, you guys here, here, and then here. Let's uh, let's go another tower. Here. So here. Here another one of these. Perfect. He's dropping a blacksmith. That's a lot of manga die, which is nice. Which is huge here. I can really get nice to these little things. Drop a cool tie and go back to the mine. Let's 
come back here. Okay, oh. We will drop some towers in other places. So we can raid a little bit here again. He's trying to mass his army. He's got a lot of gold in his army. So let's keep doing this. Push out your wall. Push out the 
Kind of messing up here a little bit, but we should be okay. He lost a lot of shoots right there. Knights, which is good for it gets it gets hard to replace them. So we gotta kinda of work around and hit what he's might see. And he's gonna have to pull back here. We get a defense up. And these crossbow are not gonna be doing very much damage now. And he is, but not much. Okay, so this crossbowmen are kind of out of place, and they are going to get pretty shut up. The big thing I find is, um, is to kind of swarm them. It makes the AI kind of pick different dab units. If you just stand right in front of each other, it's kind of unfavorable trades. So it's a good trade there. Um, I fall back here and regroup. Let's move the curl tie up a little bit so we can get a good healing bonus there. Okay, cool. So, we'll uh, look at the map a little bit before we end the video. Um, Yeah, you can see where there's a bunch of um of uh, movement he did with his knights that cost him a lot of the game. So wow, he went up to six ranges. I think he overdid his production, his cost of production. That if he could have dropped a couple more um, towers, dropping the stone here was a good idea in terms of defending his front base. But he did lose a lot of inf or, uh, population in the process. He had four relics, which is quite good. Um, it's a really good to have four relics. I didn't even see all the relics on the map. Um, I did a pretty poor job of controlling that. Um, this kind of proxy forward base was kind of nice. I was kind of massing Cav there secretly. And the big thing really was... Um, nice for Diamond. Um, but the big thing was really he... Uh, um, he was suffering some some village loss, but the big thing was his calves. When he lost all that calf and crossbow, and uh, after I aged up, that was a big thing. And it was a big thing to to age up. Um, you know, the second he was ahead of me in age, you know, I needed to age up. So I did a, I think a decent time, uh, this a decent job in aging up when I did. And um, let's check out gold. So gold was. Competitive, I'd say, with his. Um, 
Let's see statistics, eco, food. I had a lot more food, a lot more wood, more stone. And wow, he really, yeah, so he had almost 12,000 gold. So he did really good on the gold. But that being said, my, my trade was just starting to boom. I think I had, yeah, 13 um, traders and they're bringing in a good haul. So that, and my trade lines were just starting to boom. Another another seven traders and I'm, I'm super happy where I'm at. And then I bring these, these guys just kind of finished this gold and I just bring them over to wood or food. Or even sometimes I bring them over just to build proxy stuff. So we had a really good, we did a good job in terms of scouting out what, we, what he had. I didn't notice he had that mill over there. So he had some sneaky food getting into and stopping some of that food stuff making him transition to, to farms is pretty good but overall he was uh definitely not the strongest of opponents and yeah we had a good a good manga die mass at that point so um yeah oh quit the match use summary and no use summary and quit there we go cool and uh, cool, diamond one. So yeah, I was diamond two, I dropped down. I've had some pretty poor playing, so hopefully I can get back into it and get back up to where I was at diamond two. So anyways, I uh, hope you, uh, you guys enjoyed the game and uh, watch the next one.